welcome to Gal's Galavance. We spend our last night in Montenegro by having a walk along the beach and visiting the old town for a final drink. We get up early the next day and head to the new part of Budvar where it's very busy. We eventually make our way to the bus station and prepare to travel back to Dubrovnik. We've been doing this since January now and when we started all we had was a GoPro Hero 3 and a really cheap selfie stick. Our footage was really shaky, we know that, we're really sorry. We tried to cover things up in post but it didn't work. But now we have invested some money and we are taking care of it. Taking care of business. This is a newer or newer uh, G4QD gimbal. Uh, it's basically a steady cam in your hand. Push the button. Ding! Where's the horizon? Oh, there it's there. Awesome. Really smooth. And we're hoping this improves everything. We're trying to do it properly. Try and make it as smooth as we can. We're also using a muff now. Um, we had some sound issues with wind and stuff, so we're trying to correct that by doing this. We tested this gear in London and we really liked it. So. Hopefully it's improved things. If you have any tips, please give us them. We're always trying to learn how to do this better. We've only been doing this properly since January. So we're just we're still new at it. We're still learning how YouTube works as well. Please like the channel, subscribe if you like what you see, because we're, we're always traveling. We're, we've always got stuff on the go, and we always have new technology and gear. We're going to fly a micro drone over here, but this place is too built up, and I'm really rubbish at flying it, so we decided that was a bad idea. But maybe next time, depending on where we go, we'll start flying our drone again. Let's go and get dinner, and some beers, and go and take some awesome pictures of this beautiful place. So it's the last night in Montenegro. We're on our way to Dubrovnik tomorrow, so we're going to make the most of this. Try and get some really nice SLR sunset shots. Last night we discovered that Eastern Europeans don't really queue, they just swarm. So last night's dinner was quite intense, it was quite an interesting experience. So I wonder if tonight would be the same. There's not as many Russians today, I don't think, as there was yesterday. But it was really good actually, it was all meat, like lots and lots of meat. If you're a vegetarian, and as long as you like pasta, you'll do well here. If not, it's a lot quieter tonight, so it won't be as hectic, which is good. Let's go and see. Oh, my snips, man. That's right, it's a Scottish one for a nose. I'll have some meat with my meat, please. Mm. So it was our last night in Montenegro. So we thought we'd go for a wee walk along the beach. Try and see this place from a different angle. Dinner was um, salty. Mm. <laughs> I need a drink of water. Very meat, really heavy meat based dinner. Peggy. My turkey Peggy was. Mitchell. That's it, my turkey and my pork was tougher than Peggy Mitchell. Walking along this part is strictly the heavy thing. Seven hour trip for that. I wouldn't swap that for anything in the world. Wow. Look how gorgeous this is. This place is absolutely beautiful. Pirate bar, take two. Let's see if it's open this time. The pirate bar is not called something like black bears or anything like that. Some something like yeah, this was called Pirate Jeff. The scariest pirate of them all. Arr, what do you mean you be Pirate Jeff? Everyone's called Pirate Jeff. I'm just so we're not joking around that. Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Top tip about tipping. Always check the customary rules in the area you're going to about tipping etiquette. This isn't a tipping culture. But we've gave a couple of people tips and they were genuinely so grateful for it and the service was amazing. Never over tip, just give them enough. They're hard working people and they just look after you all night and they're just really friendly to like people. The sun. Yay. Our last day in this beautiful country. Cool little park. So we just left our luggage at the hotel, we're just going to walk about for an hour or so and then make our way to the bus station and hop back to Montenegro, uh, to Dubrovnik. Stupidly busy. So this is a new town. We were in the old town which was more quiet. This is absolutely not. This is the main street of the new town. Well, it's the main bit along the beach. Um, hundreds of fast food places and pizza places. Pretty good. Lots of people trying to sell you excursions quite 
tactfully and uh, crazy big nightclubs, open air beach clubs. It feels like it feels like Benidorm like or Magaluf, <laughs> Eastern European Benidorm. Yeah, definitely prefer the old town. Old town's much better. Pretty cool. There's a pirate bar. A proper pirate, not called Jeff. In typical James Lee style. All we've really ate here was street food. Because <laughs> it's really good. There's like a palatha, a palatha is that a word? <coughs> There's pizza everywhere. And it's all really good. So we're going to go grab a slice. So we get to the because it's going to be a long afternoon. Really fancy food not really, anyway. yeah. I mean, there's lots of restaurants. Again, it's the same as most places. There's lots of fish places, lots of good food. But we're just quite simple, like keeping tight budgets as well. So it's a good tip for travellers. If you guys are like worried about buying stuff or money, spending money, just eat cheap street food. It's generally the best quality as well if you're in the right place. So we discovered this little pub a couple of nights ago when it was dark. Uh, it's called the Prince. They do Guinness. Which is seven pounds. Anyway, <laughs> look at this little window. This is so cool. Such an amazing little bit. So cool. So we're just going to sit here in our own private little part and get some lunch. Here's a top tip drink locally. Local beers are really good. Um, they're about one euro, two euro, depending where you go and they're really, really good and tasty. Um, you can buy export beer, stay away from anything export if you're wanting to save money because they're a wee bit expensive. So I got a pint of Guinness last night and it was seven pounds. Seven pounds. It was really good. It was out of can, it wasn't draft, but it, it did what I needed it to do at the time, which was make me happy until I got the bill. But uh, try a local beers here, they're really, really good. Not sure how you pronounce this amber yumminess, but it's really, really good. Nisgrisco? Pivo. I'm going to go out the pier. Tried to do this last night. Got shouted at by security. Look at this. Windy! Very windy. Top tip, we get schooled on the way in, so our taxi from the hotel to the bus station was two euros twenty and it was uh, 15 euros on the way there, 12 euros on the way there, there's no way it was 12 euros so be very careful, the taxis are out. So this is the lesser glamorous side of travelling, we have to take a bus, uh, it takes about three hours to get from here to Dubrovnik but on the upside we're the only people here, so I think we may have a full bus to ourselves. Which would be cool! But we'll see. So I'll speak to you guys in three hours. Full bus to ourselves. Awesome. This is like travelling in luxury in a big, big 57 seater limo. Oh, <laughs> this journey's quick. I really want to get to the Broadway and see stuff and get a curry! Nom, nom, nom.